Welcome back to Cheddar's Opening Bell, everyone. Good to see you this morning and have you with us. Well, when we purchase items and they are put on a truck, shipping inevitably yields pollution. But what if the logistical framework could be more environmentally friendly? Hylion is a company in the electric and hybrid commercial eight vehicle market, and it's able to retrofit existing trucks on the road to make them greener. And they just started trading on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol HYLN following a, stack, a SPAC merger. Joining us now is Thomas Healy, who is the CEO of Hylion. Thomas, great to have you here on this day. Congratulations to you and the company on this milestone. What does Hylion going public mean for the broader electric vehicle space? Yeah, Hylion is focused on bringing electrification to the trucking industry, one of the, large, one of the industries that is one of the largest producers of emissions. And by bringing this electrification technology forward, we're able to drastically reduce those greenhouse gas emissions that come from these trucks and ultimately can make it a cleaner planet. Okay, and so you are the youngest CEO of a publicly traded company, um, so a, a noteworthy moment here as well for you. Why is now the right time to take a company public even amid the pandemic? So this transaction really allows us to fully fund our business plan and move our technology into commercialization. You can see the trucks that are behind me right now. Those are trucks that are already out on the road and deployed. We have one of our customer trucks, Wegmans, here today with us. And we're able to take the capital we're bringing in from this transaction and move into volume production and continue to deploy more of our units out in the road. Okay, and so let's talk about what's on the road already. Hylion already has over 2 million miles with fleets on the road already, what are the company's sustainability goals and how are you going to reach them? Yeah, so we're already deployed with companies like Penske and Ryder, Ideal Lease, Wegmans, and all these companies you know, have a strong focus on emissions, but one of the other unique things with them is you know, they're focused on cost savings as well. Trucking is all about moving goods from point A to point B and doing it as economically as possible. So what we're able to do is take both the emission savings and the cost savings and bring those together and offer a solution that's actually net carbon negative emissions. So it cleans the environment while you drive and it's cheaper to operate than a diesel truck. And so when you think about the broader number of vehicles that are on the roads right now that need to be retrofitted uh, in order to be more environmentally friendly, what, what part of the market uh, percentage base have you cracked into thus far and what's still left to go from here? Yeah, so we're still at an early uh, rollout phase, and that's where you know the capital from this transaction allows us to really scale into higher volumes and get tens of thousands of units deployed in the years ahead of us. Um, but you know what's really exciting for us is that you know this trucking industry—it's a huge market. There are over two million trucks on the road here in the U.S., and you know our goal is that us, along with other companies that are in this space, you know a couple you mentioned leading into this, uh, Nikola and Tesla, we're able to bring electrification forward for consumers to be able to shift their trucks off of diesel. Your trucking customers, they noted a 50% reduction in fuel costs for long haul. So how is the pandemic impacting the electric trucking space? Yeah, so the interesting thing is all of our goods are still moving, right? I mean, stores are being restocked with goods. Uh, people are buying things online. And ultimately, everything we interact with on a daily basis got shipped on a truck at one point. So trucking hasn't stopped even through this pandemic. And, and that's been exciting for us to see because fleets are still focused on, you know, they have to buy new trucks and replace the old ones that are in their fleet. And if they can shift to a more economical solution like what we're bringing forward, that's a no-brainer, a huge win for them. Uh, California Governor Gavin Newsom had an executive order that directs the state to require by 2035 new cars and passenger trucks sold be zero emission vehicles in California. Uh, do you expect mandates to overflow into the market that you operate in, particularly as it relates to the commercial eight vehicle market? Uh, and going forward, what would that mean for the logistical framework for a lot of the shipping companies that are in play right now? Yeah, so government mandates are a great thing in order to get fleets to really take it seriously about moving towards electrification. But you know, one of the things that fleets are often struggling with is that you know, other electrified solutions like plug into the grid or hydrogen fuel cell electric actually cost more to operate than a diesel. And so in order to get a fleet uh, to actually move towards that type of a solution, it really has to have that government incentive. Versus with our solution, we're actually leveraging natural gas as our fuel in order to be able to recharge the battery as the truck is driving. And by leveraging natural gas and more specifically renewable natural gas, 
we actually have a much lower cost than a normal diesel truck. So when you get into those sort of economics, then fleets are actually buying based off of the cost savings plus the emissions as opposed to just the emissions and then needing the government uh, subsidies in order to, to be able to afford the vehicles. It's one thing to recharge a standard passenger vehicle, but considering the amount of miles that these trucks get on them per day, per year, that is a, that's an infrastructural overhaul as well for the trucking space. Where is Hylion seeing some of its partners even uh, in that side of the equation to make sure that these trucks can be recharged uh, regardless of which state they're operating in and how, how rapidly is that moving forward right now? So our technology is pretty unique where you actually don't have to plug it in. So it is an electric truck, but you actually refuel the vehicle on natural gas, and then we use that natural gas to produce electricity as the vehicle's driving. So we can actually produce electricity cheaper on the vehicle than you can the average cost of electricity off of the grid. And then we also get to avoid that infrastructure cost issue. I mean, if you look at, if you want to go build out as many hydrogen uh, fuel uh, stations that there are natural gas stations, it's about a $12 billion endeavor. Or to the point that you mentioned before, electric trucks, when you actually plug them in, they consume about, you know, two trucks will consume about the same amount of electricity as a full truck manufacturing plant, right? So that the grid's not ready for that sort of demand being put on it. And that's where we're taking that unique approach of bringing electrification forward, but recharging off of natural gas. Thomas Healy, who is the CEO of Hylion. Thomas, congratulations again, and thanks so much for joining us here today.